Whenever you make a video criticizing um, computer equipment or computer software or smartphones or whatever it may be, you always get assholes who send you video replies or they send you uh, messages uh, suggesting that, oh, well, all you got to do is just learn how to use it and you'll be fine and this, that, and other. So basically, as my last part of my rant about Windows 8.1, I am just going to show new users to Windows, if they didn't know already, about the start button which Windows 8.1 returned that Windows 8 did not have. Now, basically, first of all, before I get to that start button thing, one thing you need to understand is that because of the fact that the Windows Metro interface, which is this that you see here on the screen, this, this new design that uh, slides back and forth, the Windows Metro interface is designed to hide most of the sub-features. In order to get to them, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to right-click. So when you right-click on something, you get these sub-menus. And the sub-menus such as Unpin from Start, Uninstall, Resize, Turn Off Live Chat, all of those things have to be found by right-clicking. So that's number one. If you want to, like if this thing right here, people, if you don't like that, you can unpin it from Start and you basically get rid of it. Because I don't see any point for that because most people use Facebook anyway. But um, that's what you basically have to do. You have to know to right click on anything that you want to see the sub context. So you also have these things turn the live tiles. You can turn them on and off. You can resize them. You can make them small squares. You can make them big squares. Or over here you can customize them by going right here. Now, when you look for your regular desktop, once again, because everything's fucking hidden, you have to go to where it says desktop, you have to click this. And keep in mind, this is for people who've never used Windows 8.1 and haven't witnessed the level of stupidity that's gone into designing it. As if somebody who had created this was designing it for a left-handed Apple user, which is probably not far from the truth. Uh, let me just rename this. I'm going to rename that flash drive. A little typo. So anyway, here is the Windows Start button. And by highlighting it and right-clicking, this is how you get a reasonably similar navigation towards what used to be the Start menu. Now, in the Start menu, you'll notice right here the most important feature, in my opinion, the ability to push shutdown or sign out or restart. Now the reason why this is so important is because most school kids are taught that if you don't properly shut down a computer that you're going to lose files and you're going to damage portions of the hard drive. So to hide this feature in my mind means that somebody up at Microsoft needs to be fired immediately. So I'm not going to rant about that again. I did that before. But anyway, you still see your file explorer, the control panel, all the things that you always knew how to get to since Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows XP, Windows Vista. All of those things, once again, have been hidden. But this is how you get to them. You have to highlight the Windows button, right click, and bada bing, that's how you get to them. Just in case you didn't know. Now, the other menu, which was part of Windows 8, you have to get to by holding the Windows button right here, that's the Windows button, and then pushing C, and it's called the Charms Bar. Now this is what Windows 8 came with, and in order, now it's hard to figure it out if you're not used to it, but if you use that shortcut, you have to go to the Start menu like that, or if you go back and you bring up the Charms Bar again, you would have normally had to go to Settings in order to have access to your power, shut down, shut off, this, that, and other, and in order to have access to, um, you know, some of the basics of the control panel, which you see right here. Why they felt they had to hide this, and more importantly, why they hit it on the right side of the screen rather than the left, I'll never understand, but hopefully the PR department has received so many complaints that in addition to releasing 8.1 that they you know, have let somebody go off the job without their pension. So in any event, you can change PC settings by clicking right there. So you can, um, when you have the charms bar, you can go to settings, you can change PC settings right here. You can change certain things about the keyboard notifications. If you have a keyboard plugged in, this highlights and uh, you're able to easily click it and whatnot. 
you can personalize your and you can use the tiles you can also do help right here so you know it's not terribly difficult but once again there are extra steps that in my opinion should not be included so that's that and that's the only that's the only reason why I made this video that's part two of my little rant about why I hate Windows 8.1 and why I hate Windows 8 hopefully Windows 9 will not fuck up and what they'll do is they'll build on Windows 8 by returning the basic user interface features such as the start button and such as the easy to access my documents my pictures hopefully they'll do that they'll return that make it easy for anybody to use it who's used Windows 95, 98, Vista, Windows 7. Because you have to remember, when people are used to using those systems, to throw this Metro interface shit at them is just unnecessary and it's frustrating. And, um, you know, I, I know I sound like I'm pissed off because I really am. If I want to let somebody use this computer, I shouldn't have to train them how to fucking use it, especially if they've been used to using Windows 7. Fortunately, they've also in certain aspects of the Internet Explorer they've also put the URL bar right back up here and I'm using the standard um, design view so this way it looks like what I'm used to I don't need to see all that prettiness I don't need to see all the cutesy shit all I need to be able to do is get to my Excel spreadsheets and my access database and I just need to be able to work Microsoft if you're hearing this when you bring out Windows 9, please make sure that you don't let any of these motherfucking uh, Euro and Chinese designers fuck the software up. Go back to Windows 95, go back to Windows 98, take a look at those, take a look at worked, add your security features, but please do not fuck up the user interface.